Is it true that the Japanese are racist to foreigners in Japan? They'll be racist to you while bowing in respect. Brother lived there for over a decade. Speaks and reads the language fluently. Started as an English teacher and then went into programming. Married a Japanese woman and they have two children. He and his family moved to the USA few years ago because his kids were treated terribly. Almost exclusively by older people. But those are the ones with enough power to make things difficult. My brother and sister-in-law also began experiencing negative repercussions once they had biracial children. There is a lot of push to get the birth rate up and incentives for parents like free daycare and I think stipends for larger living accommodations among other things. Not sure what all they're offering but it was a lot of pretty favorable benefits. Nothing happened like burning crosses or racial slurs. Most of it was passive-aggressive. They met with the head of the local daycare to see it in person and received notice that evening. They had no more space. There aren't many children as they have a negative birth rate. And this particular daycare was at most half full. They just didn't want the polluted Japanese jeans kids. They couldn't find an apartment at first anywhere in Yokohama. But once my sister-in-law went alone to look at places suddenly they had several options. Once my older niece started elementary school, she was being treated terribly by the administration. And other kids' parents were not allowing their kids to be friends with my niece. Never invited to any parties. And never threw a party for their own kids because nobody would have come. My sister-in-law was overlooked for what should have been a guaranteed promotion two years in a row. She's a nurse. This was apparently a blatant gesture of disrespect intended to mean she should leave and find work. Elsewhere. Only started happening once some of her colleagues met my brother. And got worse when they learned they were married and having children. Kids and most young adults were super nice. Many were fascinated with biracial Japanese kids. In a positive way. However, the older generation made it extremely difficult for the kids and for my brother, sister-in-law. Professionally. So they moved to the US for good. Edit. I just wanted to make it clear that at no point did my family experience the type of overt racism. That is endemic to the US. Europe. And other parts of Asia. There was only one instance where dissatisfaction with polluting the gene pool was addressed directly. And it was by SIL's actual sister. So within family where it might be more appropriate or acceptable to be open and honest. No racial epithets were shouted on the streets. Nobody ever threatened physical harm. Police didn't abuse their power to make my family feel ill at ease. That's what many minorities in the US and Europe have to deal with regularly. I asked my brother about this earlier. Trying to see if anything I said was wrong. He said nothing was incorrect. Just that it was a slow process so there's no way to break down into a couple paragraphs. It was like a 12-year episode of Twilight Zone that starts fairly upbeat. And then you learn the Soylent Green is people at the very end. So when you look back on all those meals you ate it's hard to see anything the same way as you did. Before polluting a gene pool. I was denied entry to a very quiet bar. The owner said. Sorry, Japanese only. Yes. I've seen them straight up refuse entry to black people. I've been living and working in Tokyo as a foreigner for about 18 years. On a day-to-day -day basis it isn't so bad. Some people will stare. Usually older men. Cops can stop you in the street and demand to see your foreigner registration card for any reason. And arrest you if you don't have it with you. Most landlords will refuse to rent to you. Otherwise. People are generally polite and will leave you alone. I've never had any problems in restaurants apart from one bar where I'm pretty sure we got turned. Away for being foreign. Non-white foreigners are treated worse. 
xenophobic and judge you, not allow you into their establishments if you are not Japanese? Oh yeah. That is true. Passively racist oh yeah. They are a mono-ethnic society. They believe anyone who isn't Japanese in their society will bring them shame. Mainland Japanza people. Can't stand people. From Okinawa as well. Cool place to visit. Wouldn't wanna live there. I had a Japanese classmate who claimed that there's no racism in Japan. Someone asked him, what about Koreans in Japan? He replied, there can't be any discrimination against them because they are kept separate from Japanese people. I'm Japanese and yes good number of us are racist to foreigners. The levels of racism depends on what you look like. White people probably gets the least amount of racism. While Middle Eastern, Indian and Southeast Asian probably faces the most discrimination. I'm Japanese so I have never been the receiving end of the racism in Japan obviously. But I imagine you'll probably be fine and you are just visiting for tourism. In fact I think Japanese are more forgiving to people who don't speak Japanese than like people. From US to non-English speakers. There are lots of videos from actual Japanese people showing that it's true. To the point that people who are half Japanese and born and raised in Japan experience a lot of racism and bullying and are often not permitted in some businesses because they're not considered Japanese. Definitely against black people. Subversively not overtly. I went to an almost empty sushi bar and was refused entry because they were somehow full. My ex's father moved to Australia. He was Japanese. He retired here and played golf. He was proud of himself because he made a Korean friend. That's when I learned that Japanese people are racist like the rest of humanity. Not to mention that closed off the entire country at one stage so. Yeah it's a pretty nationalistic country. Lived in Japan for a few years. Not normal to see Japanese establishments ban foreigners at all. The only time I've been turned away or have seen someone turned away was specifically at bathhouses. If they have tattoos. Which is culturally very much tied to organized crime. If anything. Foreign workers are often treated better than locals in that they don't expect the same work ethic. Are long hours. Some offices will even hire foreigners as mascots. Whose job is basically to sit in meetings and look official. Fun story. While I was in Kyoto I had two friends. One black one white. Who are part of an agency that occasionally sends out for mascot work. One day they both got an appearance call for the same day and time. Only to find they were representing two different companies at the same meeting. They pretended not to know each other but both talked the other up to the other's clients on how. The other company's representatives were so professional and well presented. This is a huge deal for the company's face. And both clients were thrilled at their performance. When I spent five years in Japan, not once did anything like this happen to me. Of course I lived in a small town. And it is likely that everyone knew who I was anyway. Ten years later, I went to my favorite drugstore. And the clerk got me what I wanted without even asking. Also, I never felt that no foreigners thing applied to me. It seems that businesses just want to keep Brazilians. Filipinos and Indonesians out. I lived in Japan for three years when I was in the Navy. Here is a story that I think kinda sums it up. One time, I was in Fukuoka waiting for a cab in the rain. Time after time, cabs drove right past me while it was pouring. I was absolutely soaked out there for over an hour as every cab driver purposely avoided me. Two Japanese men saw what was happening waved a taxi down, and invited me to go with them. The cab brought me to the hotel I was staying at. 
and the two men paid for the whole fare and refused any compensation. Japanese people can be pretty racist, but they can also be incredibly honorable, righteous, and compassionate. They are wonderful human beings. Is it really that shocking? I lived in Nagoya for a year on student exchange. Didn't experience any of the racist things anyone here describes. I went to plenty of nightclubs around Sakai. Partied with plenty of Japanese men and women. Got drunk and ate horse to the excitement of Japanese guys in multiple izakai. S. It was a great experience I will never forget maybe I was just lucky for a year? Everybody will have their own experience. And that was mine. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.